The results of the London election clearly stated that residents were fed up with the Fontana 8s. Joe Fontana didn't seek re-election after being convicted of three criminal charges. Joe Swan made a bid for the city's top job but was defeated by Matt Brown, while Dell Henderson didn't seek re-election. Everyone else, Stephen Orser, Bud Polhill, Paul Van Meerbergen, Sandy White and Denise Brown were defeated. Political science professor at Western, Andrew Sancton, says there are a lot of factors going into the collapse of the Fontana 8. We don't know if people voted against the Fontana 8 just because they were a kind of a, a grouping, like, like a political party, uh, or we don't know if they voted against them because they didn't like the policies. Or, of course, the other possibility is that they didn't like the fact that uh, uh, the Fontana 8 seemed to get into so much trouble, uh, not least Mayor Fontana himself. Joe Fontana was sentenced to house arrest back in July after being convicted of fraud-related charges. At Fanshawe College, political science professor Matt Farrell says these charges hurt other members of the Fontana 8. It's, it's a label that at the time may have been useful for a candidate to be known as you know a part of that group that is able to get things passed through city council, um, but you've got to bear the downside of that too. And you know when the, when the mayor did run into his legal problems, uh, you're stuck with it. You know you've been a supporter of the mayor. You're, you're sort of part of the Fontana Eight. That doesn't go away. So just because you lose the mayor, you're stuck with that. You're branded with that reputation. Another black eye for the Fontana 8 was the Ontario Ombudsman's ruling on the secret meeting at Billy T's restaurant back in February, saying they met illegally. For people who were casually following uh, municipal politics, uh, the fact that the Ombudsman comes along and says these people behaved improperly, I'm sure that's a, uh, uh, that was a negative factor in some people's minds. Watching the political collapse of these city councillors has those who teach the science behind it interested. I think the, the demise, total demise of the Fontana 8 is a really interesting phenomenon. It's going to be something that uh, I think people in my line of work are, are going to want to look at. Councillors on their way out have their public official job until December 1st. That's when the new council begins their four-year term. For Inside London, I'm Robert Springett.